Hey guys, so today I'm going to try to dispel this notion that price spikes only affect modern or legacy or vintage or standard players. Price spikes affects everyone equally. Uh, the speculation, the speculators doing this type of stuff don't really care if you're an EDH player, if you're a casual player, if you, I don't know, play kitchen table. They are going after these cards very hard, and Death Baron is one of them. Death Baron is a very interesting card. It's a zombie wizard, one double black, and your creatures, your skeletons, and your zombies get plus one, plus one, and death touch. No, there's not a current modern deck that plays this card. There's not a current legacy deck that plays the card, and the card is only printed in Plane Chase as well as Shards, I believe. So the card has no standard playability, no modern playability, no legacy playability. It is the definition of a casual card. However, right now it's $25. Um, $25 TCG mid, and there's four of them in stock total. So they are as suspect, if not more suspect, to a buyout than a lot of other cards, like cards in standard, like Averson. It's... This type of behavior and this type of speculation and this type of greed affects everyone equally because the speculator doesn't care if the card is played only in standard or it doesn't care if the card is death baron played only in EDH or um, formats that are casual formats. Nope. Um, and this affects you, the casual player, because guess what? You can either pay $25 for a death baron or you can go without one. And that's not a good scenario. It's a rock or a very hard place. Anyway, bye guys.